Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're gonna be solving the Hey Butter Butter uh, Physics 7B Momentum Practice problem. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. It'll he it helps a lot. Uh, so here's the problem statement and feel free to pause the video to copy the problem so that you can actually follow along. So in this problem, we basically have a baseball batter and it hits a uh, baseball and we're giving the initial velocity and the final velocity of the baseball before uh, the batter hits it and after the batter makes contact with the uh, baseball. Um, and basically we are asked two questions. What is the magnitude and direction of delta P? And then a secondary question which says, um, the batter in part A hits the same pitch with the same vector force, but manages to apply that force for 1.3 times longer than in part A what is the final velocity of the ball. So as you can see, I've copied all of the relevant information over here in my notes. So let's just go ahead and start this problem. So part one is essentially just asking what is the magnitude and direction of, the, of delta P? And this is actually gonna be uh, somewhat straightforward because we do have the mass and the initial and final velocities. So let's just go ahead and calculate that. So delta P, you know, as we know, um, it's F net delta T, but it is also simply mass times a change in velocity, right? Um, given that the mass stays the same, which in this case the mass doesn't change, so we're good to use this equation. So basically we just need to, and then this is just final minus initial, right? And we do have our final and our initial. So let's just go ahead and copy that and just get a number. Uh, so this is 0 0.15 uh, kilograms, which I uh, made the, um, you know, I changed it to SI units. And this is, final is 23, 12 minus initial is negative 38, negative 5. So delta P is 0 0.15, and then this vector is, let me just grab a calculator. Um, so this is 23 minus minus 38, and that is gonna be equal to 61. And then 12 minus minus five, that is gonna be equal to positive 17. So now I just needed to multiply the mass on both x and y components. So 61 times 0 0.15 is equal uh, to 9.15 and 17 times 0 0.15 is equal to 2.55. And then these are the SI units for momentum. So now we have momentum. So this is essentially the answer. However, this problem uh, specifically wants a magnitude and a direction. So let's just go ahead and uh, figure that out. So the magnitude, we can basically just use Pythagoras theorem in order to figure this out. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so let's just, delta P, let's just be explicit. So this is just 9.15 squared plus 2.55 squared. So delta P is equal to Oh, let's see, 9.15 squared plus 2.55 squared, and then one half, and that is going to be equal to 9.49 newtons seconds final answer. So now we also need a direction which um, means basically you know, just get an angle out of this. And we know because of Sokatoa that the angle we can just basically do tangent inverse of y component over x component. So this is 2.55, 9.15. So the angle is going to be equal to, uh, let's just see, 2.55 divided by 9.15 is equal to 15.57 degrees uh, north of, north, south, east, north of east. 
There we go. So this is the first part of the problem. It was very straightforward, but, uh, but again, we already had our, you know, everything that we needed. It was just sort of like an algebraic problem. So now for the second problem, let's just go back. Um, so the batter in part A hits the same pitch with the exact same vector force. Okay, so, um, so for part two, F net stays the same. but manages to apply that force for 1.3 times longer than in part A. Okay, so delta T for part two is 1.3 delta T from part one. Now, what is the final velocity of the ball? Okay, so basically we just need to go back to our equation. Let me just grab another color because that was just the information. Uh, so just remembering our equation, delta P is equal to F net delta um, T and delta P is essentially M delta V like this. Now um, we have delta V over here which is final minus initial so let's just spread that out And we want a new final velocity, so I'm just going to go ahead and solve for delta Bf over here. There we go. Okay, so this is everything that we need essentially in order to solve this problem. Um, F net is going to stay exactly the same, the mass is going to stay exactly the same, our initial velocity was uh, exactly the same, we actually have a number, uh, we actually have the number over here. So basically what we can do is um, just realize that, well, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, you know what, let's just not solve for delta directly I think it's gonna be easier if we just go back over here yeah this yeah let's just solve for a delta this is gonna be way easier yeah so delta V is equal to F delta T divided by M so now yeah this is this makes way more sense so now um, delta V because this is 1.3 times bigger than the other one uh, so our new delta V, which I'm just going to call delta V2, is just going to be 1.3 times bigger than delta V um, from part A, right? Just because of this multiplier, like literally you're just multiplying times 1.3. So because you're just going to have, you're just going to multiply uh, this times 1.3, and we already have delta V, it's just the subtraction over here. So let's just go ahead and do it that way. So delta V1 is just the subtraction of the original quantities. Um, do I already have that number? Yeah, 61 and 17. This is delta V. So 61 and 17 like this. So now delta V2 is just 1.3 times those two numbers. So this is just going to be 1.3 uh, times 61, 79.3, and then 17 times 1.3 is equal to 22.1. So our new delta V is basically this, however they are asking us for a final velocity and what we got is a delta V. So at this point um, we, we actually need to do final minus initial. So BF is equal to delta V um, so delta V is final minus initial, that means that delta V plus B initial is equal to B final, yes. So now we have our initial velocity, we have our new delta V, and now we can figure out what uh, B final is. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Delta V is just this quantity over here. And I'm just going to add B initial, which is this quantity over here. And that is going to give me my B final. Uh, so we have 79.3 uh, plus minus 
38 and that is equal to 41.3 and we have 22.1 plus minus 5 oh what did I oh well let's just 7 10.1 meters per second final answer yeah yeah this was easier it's not that this method was not gonna work because at the end I did have to split this into final minus initial so it's literally the same but I just thought it was easier to just multiply the entire thing and then just basically separate it instead of separating and multiply you know the the individual chunks both of these methods would have worked just exactly the same um but you know there is such a thing as a more efficient way of solving these problems i guess um so at this point the problem is done i hope this was useful and helpful in your uh, study of physics 7b as usual if you if you enjoy the content if you think it's useful a like is very much appreciated i'll see you in the next video